This I heard this story from you earlier, yeah. and when we were pretending we hadn't seen you or met you, so we got <laughs> because I think it was too fun. Uh, Indian captain Virat Kohli, huh. so he used to love our place. So every time I feel season used to be here regularly, right? So he would after eating a stick, he would order a nice big bowl of spinach, mm. <laughs> and his uh, dialogue would be first eat the animal. Then feed, then feed the animal. The animal. <laughs> and then the biggest tragedy in his life happened. He got married. <laughs> and he's become a vegan. vegan. Uh, What's up, Machas? It's Uru time. Welcome to Nama Bangaluru. When Kemper Gowda set out to build his dream city in the early 16th century, his mother gave him two instructions: Kerangalam Kattu, Marangalam Neera, which basically means build lakes, plant trees. Gowda built a hundred lakes and lined the wide avenues of the city with leafy trees. Bangalore. At once feels antiquated with an old colonial charm, and refreshingly new and vibrant with a mad entrepreneurial spirit <laughs> that infects everything in a good way. An evidently progressive city, the beer game in Bangalore is unrivaled, with hundreds of pubs and massive craft breweries, keeping the locals and migrants efficiently lubricated. The food scene mirrors the city in the best possible way. No frills, no nonsense. Different rooms serving up utterly butterly bene dosas. To military hotels serving up those nose to tail meals before it became hip. The ubiquitous doner biryani for breakfast, to smash burgers for lunch, and a boozy pub crawl through the evening. Hi, right, so this is our quintessential welcome to Bangalore shot. Church what? Street is the famous, infamous street. Where we are going to is also just, I think, around the corner. It is uh, the only place. Ah. Thing oh, the American there. Diner place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Been around since the 60s, yeah. I believe. And their steak to flame, no, steak to flame, steak to claim, claim to fame. <laughs> is a steak. Their claim to fame. Their claim to fame is steak. All right, so we are in the only place. Yeah, the one and only place. You know what I thought was really cool about this place? So on the first places when you enter, yeah. there are five signs telling you <laughs> wait quietly or shut up and fuck off. <laughs> That's all it is. Wait. So, so what food do we get here? Oh, so steaks, man. This is an American diner. At least that's the concept they started with. Ah. I'm tired of anything with curry leaf now. <laughs> Everything smells like curry leaf. I mean, I find Bangalore an extremely progressive city. It it's is. got <laughs> pasted in fucking Bombay. It's still Bombay to us. So this Bangalore, Bangalore thing doesn't seem to bother anybody here. This sure. place, what I loved about Bangalore was they always had the culture of afternoon drinking. When I was come on IT projects, now they were the only ones in the afternoon. They said, "Come, let's go out." Here you go out. They'd be like, "Okay, we'll do beers, uh. and then we'll do steak, and then it's like, Whoa, wait, what? <laughs> Suddenly, now I want to move to Bangalore." Shit, man. <laughs> no, incidentally, no alcohol served here. Yeah, really? Yeah. They said everybody else needs to serve booze to survive. Their food is so good that they don't need to uh, serve booze. booze. On that note, too much bullshit you've given. Let's get some genuine information here. Everything I say <laughs> depends if it turns into bullshit. Raj, can you please help us, man? <laughs> Sorry, help, hello, man. hello, hello. You're being rude Sorry. and loud because you said it's an American place. Bangalore was a very small city. I mean, everybody knew everybody. It was a little. It was called Pensioners' Paradise, and mm. it just reminds me of parts of London, Green wow. Parks, Rot Island. Oh yeah, Gates. it's also called the Garden City. Yeah. So you've got a Is lot of Garden City. Very I bad. So you've come, to shoot, in, you've come to shoot in Bangalore, and you have no idea what the city is. No, no, no. All I know is <laughs> exactly. All my research is how much is a fine cost at Ching Lung. So, <laughs> but like the way you guys have decided, no booze. So that was, was a conscious call on something. It, it was a conscious call because of faith. Oh, okay. But also, we are within 50 meters from a school, and also our landlord was not okay with us having uh, liquor okay. on his property. And we were absolutely fine with that. It worked all three ways. Uh, yeah. And people just coming for yeah, like food. Yeah, like this. So, grand uncle started mm. this place back in 1965. So he had a guest house earlier. All these expats who used to come and come and land in Bangalore, mm. and from here they would. Go out into the towns and villages and all that. So interacting with all these peace corps workers, were yeah. Europeans and Americans and all of that. So he picked up mm. cuisine from there and he understood what they want to eat and then he started bed and breakfast. Mm. So at that time we were called Regent Guest House. Okay. So it was our old property on Brigade Road. So 1965 is when we finally that guest house was there for some time. Yeah. We started the restaurant called the Only Place. 
Rizbag are very critical about grilling. No pressure at all. <laughs> <laughs> Which is like, because they say like every time we sit with an owner, everything is so beautiful, so nice. I'm like, not always. We just said it before this started. Yeah. I like the way he's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> now my grandfather down started down. this. My father is here. I have allowed these two assholes to come inside. What is going to happen? Next? Yeah. What I found really interesting and commendable is that you guys have taken the entire tenderloin. Yeah. Right and broken it into its old traditional sort of Larousse gastronomic view. So the Chateaubriand is the edge of it. No, the Chateaubriand is the center. But I'm glad you've done some research and come here. Yeah, Chateaubriand. The tender is a Chateaubriand. Yeah. When it's butterfly cut, it's mm. called the Supreme. Okay. When it's kept as a whole, like yeah. a nice cylindrical piece, it's yeah. called the double filet mignon or a, or a filet mignon. And then you have the tornadoes, which so is the So on the, the sides, as it tapers down, this it gets small. So I can't say like a tornado. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it looks like a tornado. What is your most what selling the, one? The Chateaubriand. Chateaubriand. Chateaubriand and the double fillet. I have a question here. You're a pilot. How is all this knowledge about this? Is it just because... Fat hey, this runs in the blind, yeah. It took me seven, eight years from finishing flying school yeah. to get a job. Yeah. In that time, this is what kept me sane. Are you uh, comfortable behind the grill? Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So I can I can grill you some nice steaks, which I'm going to do today. Once oh, you nice. decide what you guys want to have. So <laughs> I feed we... people and then I... Tell them around. Yeah. <laughs> you still actively fly? Absolutely. I yeah. just did a flight two days back. So back to it. What are we back eating? Let's. Uh, you gave you, us the two best. Yeah. How do you like a steak cooked? Medium rare. Medium rare. Thank you. Okay. I'm gonna have whatever you tell me. So we're gonna do the Chateaubriand. Producer keeps calling it. Oh man, he fucked that name up so many times. <laughs> Chateau <Chattie laughs> Fratau. <laughs> he, he turned it into a wine. Yeah. What was that you call it? Chateau Brian. Brian ka Chateau liya hai. Um. The Philly cheese steak one. Oh yeah. Know. I went to school in Philadelphia. So I want Super. to have the Philly cheese steak. Done. I'm judging That's you on that. Like oh, hardcore. It's the authentic Philly cheese steak. Okay. Like if you get in Philadelphia, yeah. but it's on a plate. No. And what know. sauces are we doing? Like I like it you plain, but okay. I'll do. You I like it plain. Sauce. Don't need. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. We don't see. serve it with the sauce. Thank God. Yeah. All right. So All right. right. Don't fucking order sauces. Right? <laughs> Stay. Eat the fucking meat. Have some garlic, yeah. salt. It, let the meat speak for itself. Absolutely. Whichever meat it is. Okay. I'm gonna go in and make your sticks. Thank you so much. Still and enjoy. Can I also get some salad? Some salad. Let's cut some. I don't care for it. That's what's nice. Just salad. green salad. Yeah. Can I also see the menu just for the? Oh yeah, oh, let's absolutely. See. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, menu. Here you go. Can we add uh, mini lamb chops to that? Yeah. We have. <laughs> yeah. I've got the big lamb chops though, but that'll be too much. Yeah, yeah, do the big, the big lamb yeah, chops. Let's do one of those as well. Okay, lamb chops. Okay. I want onion, onion rings. Onion rings. Yes, okay. Yes. <laughs> Wait, you have a steak of poivre? No, no that's uh, the yeah. slightly the, the filet yeah. mignon. Yeah, but I know what a steak slightly of poivre is. Indian poivre Indian is a pepper. I want one of those too. So one quick little technique if you're cooking any sort of meat on, uh, especially red meat on uh, the grill, shove your thumb closer to your hand, right? Rare, medium rare, medium, and well done. Anybody orders uh, well done steak, you just should throw it at them. <laughs> or take your shoe and give it to them. The, both of them are equally same. the same. Yeah. <laughs> and here we go. It's come right in time. Right, onion rings. Oh, onion rings. Sure. Uh, and some and some shak bhaji. Uh, that's for me. All for you. So we wanted to make sure that in this season we had a slightly better or more footage of food. We fucking missed that completely first time. In a steak place, it's a little complicated because it's, the cooking time is a very exact thing. Two minutes extra on one side will burn it and becomes going from medium rare to medium. And then we'll be critical about it that it's not done to the right temperature. So, this needs that so spice shooting, powder. getting those shots and making sure it's a fine art in which uh, hopefully we get right. <laughs> so, I lost focus like the I noticed. The minute I shooting has to go.
just needs that spice uh, powder they put on the onion rings. You want podi on this? <laughs> on this. <laughs> no curry patta yet. <laughs> How do we know onion rings are from Bangalore? This is some oh, curry patta. Good man. Like we we yes, I want some spice powder on it. You know, normally you have that. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. See, See, okay. Typical Indian guy. Do you try the mustard? Yeah, yeah, that's damn nice. That's freaking homemade. The mustard is homemade? Yeah. Okay, you guys ready for the lamb chops? Yes. Yeah, we can do it. Ready to roll? Yeah. Super light. He wanted a little bit more spice in them. I'm fine. Who cares? <laughs> Producers now started asking for all questions. <laughs> <laughs> Table cloth is mm. cotton or linen? Hai? <laughs> This is our famous lamb chops. Oh, nice. Oh. It's actually really soft. Yeah. Man, this is Go really good. Yeah. yeah. Look at that jiggle. Ah. Look at that perfect That's jiggle. All the fat, huh? That's the That's one you need to right. snack. It's got some uh, oh. acidic. Yeah, Notes you were right on the acidic. Yeah, it has to. It's got a little bit of a yogurt with a little light salt and pepper and lime. That's it. Yeah. Nothing else. Yeah, that no acidic note is coming. The, it's also getting tenderized with the yogurt just slightly. Absolutely. The next dish. Okay. Okay, enjoy. Thank you. They really know their meats really well. That Because it's a fatty cut of meat, something like uh, lime makes it like a complete mouthfeel. Mm. Just the fat gets a little bit much. Mm. Uh, it's really good. It's nice and tender. The lime cuts through the fattiness. Chutia, what you, what's your review? Tha? Abhi tha kya bol tha? Itni deri se... What's your review? Huh. <laughs> and I started doing it too. <laughs> like, I'm fucking Pavlov's retarded dog. Huh? Well, who is it? This is what we eat. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> this is the greens first. Oh. Shanky automatically just uh, said... Move. Move. This is the steak of poa. You wanted the steak ah, of poa, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The crushed pepper on top. Nice. Oh, that looks so good. Anything with fresh crushed pepper. And man. this is a nice single filet mignon. I'm digging in. Just take that away. Go Moment of telling. I'll cut from this side. Are you making your demi glaze and your sauces? Everything, and everything? is homemade from yeah? scratch. Everything is homemade from scratch. Oh, look at that That's tenderness. The only way. Look at that tenderness. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, I'm going to dive into a little bit. <laughs> Let him at least have a bite, yeah? Not too bad. A greedy burger. Yeah. <laughs> like food envy is real. You were the one who wanted the sauce and the crushed pepper. I haven't had a steak au pois since I went to culinary school and had to learn that shit. <laughs> Juicy meat coming out. And that's the spinach. Yeah. So, so after, you eat, after you eat the animal, you can then feed it. <laughs> so it grows a little more in your stomach. <laughs> that's what made Kohli eventually go vegan. I stay far away from that. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, that was not very impressive. I like that one. Yeah? Mm. It's nice, but I really like that one more. It's good. It's cooked really well. It is medium rare as requested. What's really good is, see, you can see the juice is running. So the more rare, the more it retains the juice. When you get medium, those juices are now out of the meat. When you get well done, all of the juices are gone. The sauce is just as I remembered from culinary school. Uh, I gotta try out the rest of the accoutrement as they call it. The vegetarian part of our crew has gone very far and sat down in one <laughs> corner when they're cutting the meat, showing the blood. Right, you want to do a switcheroo? See, switch back also. Huh? Huh. Thank you for Hara chutney. Hara chutney. <laughs> this, is, this is This sauteed spinach. Or <laughs> as producer calls it, uh, Hara chutney. <laughs> the spinach is also really nice. You get two styles in a steakhouse. You either get the cream spinach or you get sauteed spinach. It's a really nice sauteed spinach. Uh, vegetables, I think, could be done a little... Cooked. Done away with. <laughs> I think vegetables could be slightly, like, a little bit further under. A little... I think we, we are also slightly purist when it comes to steak. Mm. So you can have your amanat back and I will remove the offending greens. <laughs> oh, that looks nice. Ah. Yeah. You guys better save some space for... Uh... <laughs> The Chateaubriand and the apple what? pie, huh? Chateaubriand also Chateaubriand has Yeah. Also pie. <laughs> I look so hot just staring at you guys. <laughs> <laughs> like now, right, uh, I'm gonna take a bite. Do it. Yeah. The icing. Oh, on one the cake. comment. Huh? One comment. Coming. Mm. Okay. As a sandwich, 
Uh, it's a steak sandwich. No, so in the Philly, it is uh, you take the, the meat and you shave it paper thin. And you quickly fry it with onions and you put cheese on top of it. Correct. This is a steak sandwich. Philly cheese You're steak right. sandwich. Philly guys will be like, mmm. Some of the ingredients are fine. Is the meat supposed to be just dry? <laughs> Honest to you, it's okay. Mm. Go with the steak. Stim the, stick to the simple the steak. The mignon steak is what you should come here for. Is the last one that we're closing with is supposed to be their most famous steak. There what you go. Now our your face is resistance. Damn, that looks fucking awesome. Simple. Wow. Not oh, I like you got little styrations yeah, in there. How right? did you do that? This okay, butter like knife. It. Yeah. Meat cooks in its own heat, right? Yeah, yeah. So the longer you keep it sitting, yeah. from medium rare it goes to medium and yeah, it keeps cooking. Yeah, yeah, so resting. I mean, resting yeah, yeah. is extremely important. So, so right? cut fast. It should, be, it should be, yeah, exactly. Oh. That's what it's, it's from the I, grill into the stomach, not the plate, not the table. <laughs> oh, no, man, you gotta rest it. Yeah, okay. Oh, really well done, man. Nice. Not well done, I said. Really medium rare. Nicely done. Really Rarifying. medium rare done. <laughs> yeah. You can see the pink. I'm not going to ask you to choose, it's okay. No, it's a little on the salty side. The meat yeah. cooking is fucking awesome. Yeah, look at that, Super. no? Outside, the medium. Outside. When you say medium rare, it should be slightly medium, right? And then to the rare. Meat should always be I'm rested, I'm going to come right? back, you guys yeah. enjoy. It's a cardinal sin if you ever take anything off the grill and eat it. If you let it rest, the meat, the, the juices settle back and dis uh, disperse all over the meat itself. But the honey thing what? tastes damn good, man. Yeah, it's yeah. all we're concerned so, with. So, again, really good. Better the than the Mignon. Huh? Slightly better than the Mignon. It's more tender. I mean, this is the Chateaubriand. It is, again, a little bit on the saltiest it's side. Salty. It's but the, if the you eat it... is that is salty, but, but you know what, sometimes... Yeah, things are served, things. Yeah, yeah. things are served for a reason. Now, if the potato is not that salty, and this is salty. Together, it should balance out. And let's see. Mm. Yeah. If you have it with a little bit of the potato, then it definitely balances out. If you just eat it by itself, it's on the saltier side. He's got it down. Chatur biryani. That's oh, the fresh no. cream. Achha, we could have done it with one slice. That's a nice thing. He said, very small slice. What small slice? <laughs> this is two pies. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, you want to try once without that? Huh, no, 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 no. Let me try it. Uh, but you're not going to comment on after trying that with that. <laughs> beauty shot. Uh, sir, the comments shot. are going to be beauty shot. Beauty shot, sir. Aya. <laughs> oh we jo comments will be able to get more than a little bit. Steak is just one thing, which is healthy. This is your chair, right? <laughs> I was worried I'm going to be ass up in the air. This is nice, man. Oh, really good. Yeah. It's really, that crust is just lovely. The apple is really nice Crunchy. apple. I like that you kept these apple big pieces. Nice. I gave it saying that sauce, sauce, every Indian wants sauce. Mm. Apple pie nicely brought on nice, <laughs> nice sauce. <laughs> Some things you need it, yeah? yeah I agree. This is the only one I ate the whole of. I mean, I'm so full, I still managed yeah. to finish it. Oh, so much. How can we eat? There is no way I can't do it. I was not lying. One man bullshitted there also. <laughs> but, you know, why don't we hold this thought for just a second? Keep shooting. Keep talking. I shall be back. Once. Keep talking. Keep talking. <laughs> keep talking. Ah, bastard. I mean, keep I'm talking. not saying I eat less. This is what happened. This is my half. Yeah. This was his second steak. This was mine. Remember? <laughs> that what I was eating? This is... Shanky's lamb shank. <laughs> lamb chop. He wants a hero table. I'll give you a hero table. Why is this chapter we are left? So this one can still go. <laughs> now we can start eating again. Okay, because you've got everything right in front of us. Chateaubriand, lamb chops, mignon, then the steak of poivre. Steak of poivre. My favorite was the Chateaubriand. The reason I'm actually eating this after dessert. Because this is the taste I want to go back with, not just the apple. That was our favorite. The mignon was, was really nice. The lamb chops were excellent. The steak of poivre, I thought the meat was a little bit on the tougher side. Uh, the steak sandwich was good. It's not a Philly cheese steak. The apple pie was really nice. And I can't breathe anymore because I'm that full. All you guys out there who ask, how difficult is it to make a food show? After all of this, in three hours, you have to eat again the same amount. But who's complaining? 
Let's do this. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.